do not move to Bettendorf, Iowa until you watch this video because there may be things that you don't like, but there may be things that you really, really like. So you're gonna wanna watch this one to find out if Bettendorf is the place for you. Now, if you're not familiar where Bettendorf is, well, it is located in what we call the Quad Cities, which the four main cities is Davenport, Bettendorf, Moline, and Rock Island. And Bettendorf is the premier city well, at least that's what they call themselves. And we're gonna talk about the pros and the cons of living here. And we're gonna get right into it and start talking about everything that's going on with the new developments. Now, in my eyes, this is seen more as a pro, but I could see where people might think it's a con as well. So what is going on? Well, in North Bettendorf, we are getting development all over the place. That's new construction on homes, that's development in the businesses. Everything is really, really getting built up in the north part of Bettendorf, and you can really see the results of it. I mean, we have the Betplex up there, we have all those new bars and restaurants like Oscars, Twinspan Brewing, there's new hotels being up there like Cambria, and our biggest thing that is getting built currently and will be done in 2024 is the Iron T, which is like a top golf, but for the Quad Cities. And we're very, very, very excited for it. And the thing that's cool about all that development is some of the pain of the construction is kind of over. They finished the roundabouts that they were promising us to get the traffic flow going through there a lot better. And we had to endure that construction phase in order to get that really nice development up there. And we're kind of through that big piece of things as far as the road construction. And we're getting, like I said, the Iron T getting built and finished here in 2024. So pretty exciting. But with all of that development going on, we're also getting a lot of new construction up there. There are houses going up almost daily, it seems like. And if you're looking in the Quad Cities and you're wanting new construction, Bettendorf is probably the place you're gonna to wanna to look because that's where most of the new construction is getting built currently. And speaking of construction, well, this isn't really necessarily construction, but I would argue to say that Bettendorf probably has the best road construction in the whole Quad Cities. You hardly ever see any type of potholes any um, cracks in the concrete, all the stormwater drains are working. And it's really nice to see that as you're driving around, especially if you have a nicer car and you really don't wanna have damage done to it because of potholes, which honestly, potholes are inevitable, but Bettendorf gets after them pretty quickly. So Bettendorf is probably the premier city when it comes to their roads. They are well-maintained. And the cool part about that is the city of Bettendorf actually keeps taxes lower because all that kind of construction stuff on roads is actually borrowed money. They get it as a loan versus taxing everybody in the city. And that whole thing about taxes, I can actually speak to you because I actually got to take a class with the city of Bettendorf called the Citizens Academy. They talked about you know, why they make that decision to keep the taxes low and get capital money and they just really want to maintain the roads at a high standard and don't want to necessarily raise the taxes on their citizens because they want the city to keep growing and they feel like lowering keeping the taxes at a lower rate is going to help spur on more growth so far it seems like it's working because bettendorf is growing all the time as seen by the developments that we talked about earlier. So you get the lower taxes, but you also get the nice construction of the roads and the maintenance of the roads. And it really shows as you're driving around, you're not bumping all over, hitting all the potholes. So it's really cool to have that. And if you have a nicer car, you're gonna really like it even better. And speaking of the Bettendorf city, they have a parks department. And if you're moving here, you're gonna notice that the parks are almost immaculate. In fact, I'm in a park right now. This is called Devil's Glen Park. Got a bunch of trees. You got uh, Duck Creek at the bottom there. And uh, it's absolutely gorgeous. And it's not an exception to the rule. It's basically the rule. Everything is well-maintained. The facilities are well-maintained. The grass is always cleaned up. The leaves are cleaned up. 
And it's really, really cool to see that. But not only are the parks well maintained, there's committees that the city has out there that is just citizens. In fact, I'm a part of one of those and I'm a part of the dog park committee. And we fundraise to really bring up the standard of the park. This year we raised money to help with the fencing around the park because we don't want the dogs to possibly get out. And we're seeing a little bit wear and tear on the fencing and now we've got a solution that is gonna last us quite a while. So being a part of that community is really, really cool. But if dog park isn't for you, they also have what they call the park ambassadors. And the park ambassadors go out and they look at the parks every single week, every single day, and uh, they take shifts. There's multiple people that do it and just make sure that the parks are being maintained, that there's no vandalism going on. And in fact, I'm thinking about joining that myself because I think it's a cool opportunity to give back to, to the city. So if parks, you like to be outside, are your thing, you're gonna really like Bettendorf because there's plenty of them and they are super well maintained. Now, if you're thinking Bettendorf is the place for you, but you're just really not sure what neighborhood in Bettendorf you want to move to, but luckily you got me. My number is popping up down below. I am a licensed realtor here in Bettendorf and I'd love to really niche down on what neighborhood makes sense for you and your family. Because yes, Bettendorf isn't a huge city, only about 35,000 people but we got plenty of neighborhoods and not all of them make sense for every person. So give me a call, hit me up. I am the one that answer all those phone calls, texts, and emails. Now, if you're moving to Bettendorf and you're thinking about schools, well, luckily for you, Bettendorf actually holds two different school districts and they are number one and number two in the whole quad cities, according to niche.com. And what are those school districts? Well, you got Bettendorf, of course, but you also got Pleasant Valley, which is the number one school district according to niche.com, not just in Bettendorf, but in the entire state of Iowa. So it's a very well sought after school district that a lot of clients ask me to try to find homes for because it's just something that they really wanna be a part of and get a good education. So if you're moving here and education and schooling is what you want, well, you might want to look at Bettendorf because they have, like I said, the top two in the whole Quad Cities. And not only that, but the top one in the state of Iowa. But the thing about the school districts is because you have two in Bettendorf, you got to be careful on where you land as far as neighborhoods go. Because if you're wanting Pleasant Valley, you might land in a Bettendorf school district. Or if you want Bettendorf, you might land in a Pleasant Valley School District because they are basically right next to each other and you can't really tell from the city lines on which school district you're gonna be in. So if you have a specific need for a school district, make sure you know where you're buying because you might just end up in the wrong one. And it gets even more confusing because part of the Bettendorf School District is also in a part of Davenport's city lines. So. Not to make it more complicated, but you do gotta be careful where you live if your school district is important to you. Now you're probably thinking, hey, uh, this sounds all really great. And honestly, it's not terrible. I mean, it's really pretty good, but you gotta be asking yourself, it can't be perfect. And you are correct. So we're gonna talk a little bit about maybe some of the negative things about Bettendorf. And the first thing to come to mind is that Bettendorf is really not a super budget friendly place to live when you're talking about the Quad Cities. It's really got the highest average home price sitting at about $386,000 on average. Now you can purchase homes for less than that, but on the average it is the highest priced. You got, you know, Hy-Vee, and I think I learned this the other day, Hy-Vee, the grocery store, bases their price on whatever neighborhoods they're in. I don't know if there's any truth to that, but I can see it because Hy-Vee here it does seem a little more expensive than Hy-Vee's that I've gone other places. So just know if Bettendorf is the place for you, you're probably gonna pay to be a part of the community because it is just a little bit more expensive than the rest of the Quad Cities. So just be prepared for that if you're thinking about moving to Bettendorf. Now, I don't know what your thoughts on HOAs are, 
a kind of a divisive topic. You know, some people like HOAs and some people just cannot stand them. And why do I bring this up? Well, generally the Quad Cities doesn't have a ton of HOAs, but Bettendorf is kind of an exception to that rule. Not everywhere is an HOA, but a lot more neighborhoods are HOAs. And because we're getting all that new development with home construction, a lot of those new developments are implementing HOAs. So whatever your take is on HOAs, if you love them or you hate them, it might sway your decision on if you want to look at Bettendorf. And again, not every neighborhood has them, but if it's something you really don't like, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you're not buying a home in an HOA because some people just cannot stand them. In fact, I actually just got a buyer under contract for a condo and we had to really review the rules of the HOA that was in place because there are certain things that were very important to her when she was gonna be moving into that condo. Luckily, it all worked out. For her specifically, it was about her dog and if her dog would qualify because a lot of the HOAs have rules on, you know, types of dogs or, you know, pounds of dogs. And her dog met those limits and we ended up getting her under contract. So it was really cool, but it's something that we really had to do our research on to make sure she's not buying something that just isn't going to work for her. Now at the beginning, I talked about how good the roads are here in Bettendorf. But with the pro comes the con. And what is the con about having really well-maintained roads? Well, I think it's kind of obvious. The con is that they seem to always be under construction. Yeah, they maintain them really well, but when they do construction, it seems like it's all the time. You're constantly having to look out for construction cones. And uh, I think Middle Road at one time got done twice in a summer, or at least it felt that way. I don't know, I could be completely off. In fact, I probably am off, but it definitely feels like the construction of the roads is ongoing all the time. But I guess that's the price you pay if you want to have well-maintained roads. So take it or leave it, I guess. And speaking of traffic and roads, something that I've noticed about Bettendorf, and this isn't new, it's just something that drives me absolutely crazy is whoever they've hired to design their parking lots for businesses and public works, I don't know what they're thinking. The parking lots are the absolute worst design. It's hard to figure out where you're supposed to go, who's supposed to stop. One in particular is by the Home Depot. There's an intersection there that's like five different lanes coming all together and nobody really knows who's supposed to go when and where and who turns what. So it's just something going on. Another one to think of is the Bettendorf City uh, Library. That one isn't nearly as bad, but it's still kind of askew and a uh, little bit weird angles to get in and out of there. So it's just a gripe of mine. And uh, it's not a huge deal, but it's just something to think about. And whoever is designing these parking lots, I wish they would just get rid of them. In fact, Maybe they're already gone because these parking lots have been around a little while. And since this is an update for this year, I got to talk about the next topic, and that is the car washes. I do not know what is going on, but every time you look somewhere else, a brand new car wash is being built. I can think of, I think six off the top of my head that have been built in the last year, maybe year and a half. I don't think we need that many car washes but it's happening. Again, we just getting another one built on Devil's Glen Road, right next to one that's, I don't know, half a block away. I don't know. It's not really, you know, a bad thing for Bettendorf, but it's also like, why? Why is everybody building all of these car washes? So I guess that could be a con as well. But if you have a nice car, at least you got plenty of options to get it washed. Now, if you're moving to Bettendorf and you really, really want to know what neighborhood is right for you and your family, hit me up. My number is down below. I really love to help you make that move to Bettendorf. But if you just want to see what Bettendorf is actually all about, well, check out this video right here.